Hi, I'm Chef Tony Matassa. Today we're putting something together that's really easy for entertaining a crowd, and it's also great for tailgating. We'll be making lamb sliders with a cucumber and yogurt sauce. We'll begin with the sauce. For that, you'll need half of an English cucumber that you've seeded and diced. Just pour all that into a strainer set over a bowl, add a little black pepper and salt, toss this all around, and set aside to allow it to macerate for a little while. That'll pull out any excess moisture and make sure that we don't have a watery sauce. Now, much in the same way, we'll make a little strained Greek yogurt by pouring it into some cheesecloth that's been set into a strainer set over a bowl. We'll set this aside as well to allow it to drain a little bit, and we'll mix the rest of the ingredients together. Some softened cream cheese, add some fresh chopped dill, some fresh parsley, a little fresh mint. This is already starting to smell great. A little fresh squeezed lemon juice, a paste of two to three cloves of garlic, we just have to mix all this together until thoroughly combined. We can add the strained cucumbers, mix that around a little bit, add our strained Greek yogurt, we'll stir that to combine, and finally, some salt and fresh cracked black pepper to taste. Mix everything together one last time, cover, and set aside in the fridge while we prepare the lamb sliders. In this recipe, I'm using a pound and a half of ground lamb, which will yield us between 20 and 24 slider patties but the recipe can easily be scaled up. I like to start out by adding a little black pepper and salt to taste. I put this directly on the meat so I can judge it a little better. We'll blend all the rest of the ingredients together before adding them to the meat so that we don't have to overwork our lamb. Beginning with some finely diced or pureed yellow onion, some freshly chopped rosemary, fresh parsley, a little fresh mint, some oregano, some Dijon mustard, the paste of five cloves of garlic, ground cumin, ground coriander, some red wine vinegar, and some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Blend all this together well. Once blended, add half of the mixture to the lamb, drizzle with a little olive oil, and lightly toss everything around to thoroughly mix the lamb and seasonings together. Now we can add the rest of our herb blend and repeat. Just make sure not to overwork it. You don't have to grind the herbs in or smash them through your fingers, just blend them together. Begin forming small, rough balls on a pan, which will allow us to check for the portion size and make changes before pressing the patties. Today I made 20, but sometimes I get as many as 24 when using a pound and a half of ground meat. At this point, you can make any adjustments you want, then begin patting them out. I usually press down one side, flip the patty over, press down the second side, place a small dimple in the center with my thumb, and continue on. Let them rest at room temperature for about 20 minutes, and then we'll get them on the grill. We set the sliders on a grill preheated to between 350 and 425 Fahrenheit. You can just place the individual patties on the grids if you'd like, but I usually prepare a couple hundred of these at a time, so I set the patties and later the buns in grill baskets so I can get them on and off of the grill faster. After two to three minutes on the first side, turn them over. This is where a nice grill basket really comes in handy. After grilling on the second side for another two to three minutes, you can remove the patties and lightly toast your buns. You can use any small rolls that you like, but my favorites are Hawaiian rolls, so that's what we're using today. I just slice them down the center and lay them flat. Now, depending on how generous of a host you are, you can either set everything out on trays and have everyone build their own, or put them together, topping each with some Munster cheese and a dollop of your yogurt cucumber sauce. Thank you for watching. For more recipe videos, how to's, and product demonstrations, please check back often or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we certainly don't mind if you hit the like button. I'm Chef Tony Matassa, and remember at bbqguys.com, we smoke the competition.